Now that Mary's greeting text is all set up, it's time to put together her main menu. Your main menu is one of the most important and effective tools inside of your Messenger bot. It's not unlike your main navigation menu inside of your website that directs people to your main offerings. Since Mary is a fitness coach, we are going to direct to the following three things on her menu. Her fitness services, her five-day free fitness challenge, and a way for people to contact her via Messenger directly or schedule a time with her on a call. You can use your main menu to direct people to outside links or keep them right inside the chatbot and send them to different destinations that you find important. So let's go ahead and jump into ManyChat and build out Mary's main menu. On the left side menu, click on Automation and click on Main Menu. Now when you have a free account, you're only allotted two menu items. Whereas if you have a pro account, you can have up to three menu items, plus you get five sub menus. So let's go ahead and start with Mary's first menu item, which are her services. Now you can direct people to several different places within the messenger or outside. So we have here, open a sub menu, reply with a message, and open a website. You can also do actions. So we're gonna show you how to do all of these, but in Mary's case, she wants to direct people to her website where her services are. Done. Then we're gonna add another menu item. Mary's next menu item will be for her free fitness challenge. In this case, we're actually going to reply with a message and we're gonna create a new message because we currently do not have any other messages available. We're gonna keep it pretty simple. Eventually, this will tie into a sequence, which we'll cover later on in this course. But for now, we'll just leave a quick message saying the next free five-day fitness challenge is coming soon. Up here at the tab, we could click on Main Menu and Navigate Back. Let's go ahead and do Mary's next item. In the case of Contact Mary, we wanna give the user two options. So we're gonna say Open a Submenu and we just click on these submenus and type in the different options. So for schedule call, Mary uses a scheduling app and we're gonna keep it simple and just direct to her scheduling app page. For the live chat with Mary, we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna do an action and the first action that we're going to set up is mark conversation as open. This way it goes right into live chat. The following action will be Notify admins. And we'll just click here and say, first name would like to chat. Now you can change what you're sending your admins by clicking on the blue here. And you could say the first name or the last name, I prefer full name myself, would like to chat. You can also add any kind of detail that you might be collecting about that person by clicking on the brackets and scrolling down to custom user fields. Now we don't currently have any custom user fields for this person, so we're just gonna leave it. Now when someone clicks on chat live with Mary, not only will it open the live chat, but it's also going to notify an admin. But we wanna do one more thing. We wanna reply with a message to let them know that someone will be with them shortly. So we're gonna create a new message. When you're ready, just click publish. Keep in mind when you're building out your menu, you wanna make sure that you're directing people to those upper level navigations that are the most important. So contact me, your services, or any kind of challenges or lead magnets you might have. It's really up to you.